finishes in the most spectacular manner to win his eighth title in Rome. <laughs> Daniel does it in Tokyo. Medvedev wins his biggest title of his career, becomes the first qualifier ever to win in this city with a display of quite phenomenal tennis. I don't want to stop uh, at where I am and uh, I hope to do what it needs to be even higher. Full of ambition, Russia's Daniel Medvedev has every right to be dreaming big. After a stunning 2018, where he captured three ATP Tour titles, he's one of the men to watch this season. His remarkable run began when he reached a milestone just over a year ago in Sydney. And said much, Medvedev. I managed to win it, my first title, and I think it gave me a big push in the year, even if this push was not straight away. But I think uh, this meant a lot uh, for this season. The foundation had been laid for a special season. Fast forward to the US summer, and Daniel was back in the winner's circle. Game, set a match, Winston-Salem was a really big boost in my career this season because it made me go up the ranking straight into almost top 30 and it's definitely not a level to be a top 30 and then uh, being in the 50s or 60s. There's no doubt Medvedev was ready for the next level. A few months later, on an even bigger stage, he showed his quality. ATP 500 is definitely a uh, different thing. Uh, beating indoor guys like Milos. And he seals it in the most spectacular fashion. Daniel Medvedev books his place in the semis here in Tokyo. Denis Shapovalov. Just amazing tennis from the world number 32, Daniel Medvedev. Okay, at his hometown is something amazing. He was so close to perfection. Defeats Nishikori 6-2, 6-4 in just an hour and two. You never win easy by doing this with easy scores. With amazing level of, uh, of my game, I, I'm just really happy about myself and I hope to continue improving this way. Daniel Medvedev is the champion in Tokyo. It's the third title of his year. Astonishing stuff. 2018 wasn't just unforgettable on course for Daniel. He got married during the summer, making his year even more memorable. It's tough to fit a wedding in a tennis schedule, but in fact I didn't have a real wedding, like an enormous ceremony or something. It was a small ceremony in Russia, just to be a wife and a husband. And then maybe now we'll make a bigger wedding this year. And we got married after the US Open. That was, in terms of my tennis career, that was the best result by far in my career. So probably it means that I was doing everything right. The brightest of futures lies ahead for Daniel Medvedev determined to show that 2018 was just the start. For me, tennis is about many, many small details, especially at the level where we are all right now. For me, it's about physical part, of course, mental part, of course, tennis part. If you don't play good tennis, you cannot be here. I have been working a lot to improve all of these small details. If previous years, since I was younger, I was just thinking about my tennis and I thought I, I can always come on the court and win uh, if, I, if I hit the ball good, so I've changed it. And I've changed myself on the tennis court. That's where I am right now and I want only to improve. Next week on ATP Uncovered, the first of the February action from Cordoba, Montpellier and Sofia. And catching up with Karen Kachinov we talk to the newest ATP Masters 1000 champion. Don't forget to log on to atptour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.